Hey everyone, how's it going? Here's a little update of what's been going on. Swapping out a customer's RX-8 engine. Car has about 110,000 miles on it and the engine let go. Sounds like it's only running on one rotor but it will not fire up. So I got pretty much everything stripped, complete wiring harness. Gotta undo the tranny harness so I can pull this up out of the way. AC compressors moved. All the coolant lines, everything's completely disconnected. Just got to undo the motor mount down over there. And the other motor mount over there, plus the EGR pipe with the exhaust. And then this engine's ready to come out. Bell housing bolts are back there. You got those two. You got another one back behind there. And then you got ones that hold on your starter and two on opposite ends at the bottom. And this is the JDM imported engine that has about 40,000 miles on it that's being put into it. Going to use the clutch in the car because it has a brand new stage 2 clutch replacement. Which this just looks like a regular factory Xetti. Don't know what the flywheel conditions are like. And it doesn't have a counterweight so this flywheel stays with this motor. This is broken part of the emission system but the one on the engine still good so that would be swapped everything's pretty complete and looks like it's in decent condition but once you have it all swapped stripped down the engines buried all the way back there that's what the engine looks like complete and then when you strip it all the way down it pretty much looks like that and that's actually a 13B out of a FC. I'm rebuilding this, doing a mild, doing a half bridge on the front front iron, rear iron, mild street port for the center iron, and maybe a mild street port port on top of the bridge porting for the front and rear iron. And this has high compression rotors, 9.7 to 1, so it should be a little peppy. Doing exhaust ports as well. But what's been going on? fuel rails, fuel injectors. This car's not too bad. Has an aftermarket coil radiator with an AEM air, air intake, cold air, goes down into the bumper. And it has a boiler, boiler, whatever the hell you want to call it, exhaust system from, uh, looks like the cat back. Has factory headers, but then it has the cat back exhaust with cat still so it's still mission compliant you see access to one motor mount right there and the other motor mount same exact way got to lower this cross brace let's a little update has been going on once this is done then I'll disassemble and rebuild that engine have videos coming out on that